When I use ChatGPT, I always feel like something is missing from it. Like some things are just buried too deep for me to bother finding them. But recently I found this great Chrome extension called Superpower ChatGPT. And this one has added many of the features I was looking for. And let me say one thing right off the bat. The improvements it brought are more on the convenience side and ease of use rather than adding some groundbreaking features. But that's exactly what ChatGPT was missing. A few more strategically placed buttons here and there. First search button is the prompt history. Here all your prompts will appear making it really easy to go back and reuse them. It's like a personal bank of prompts, but what really can change the game is the ability to import a file with prompts. Most often however I found myself going to community prompts to look for something new to try. Here you can see prompts from ChatGPT users all around the globe, which can sometimes be super useful. I can also select any number of conversations on the left menu and then export them. Or I can delete them in bulk, that's something the regular ChatGPT can't do. But the most important buttons for me are these two, continue and menu. Let's see what they do. In the menu, I have quite a few options to choose from, such as rewrite, paraphrase, explain, and so on. I'll choose expand, which immediately pastes a pre-made prompt and submits it. This is much faster than manually typing the prompt. I know it's saving a few seconds, but those seconds add up and become minutes or even hours. The continue button does exactly what you'd expect asks ChatGPT to continue the response. Also for me, the very important addition is the word count for each response. If I need to write something that has size limitations, the word counter is a must-have feature. On top of all that, this extension brings a ton of keyboard shortcuts that make using ChatGPT even faster. Is there a limit to how optimized the experience can get? Because now it seems like the next extension will make ChatGPT just read our mind instead of using prompts. All this optimization is cool, but there's one one more little thing that is lacking from ChatGPT. Plugins in the mobile app. Yup, the mobile app was out for a while now, but there still are no plugins supported. But I know a way around that. First, open ChatGPT on your computer and select a new chat with any necessary plugins enabled. In my case, it will be an image generation plugin from a previous video. I'll ask it to draw me something and after I get the response, I can safely close ChatGPT and open it on my phone. In the app itself, there's no apparent way to turn on plugins plugins, but there is a history. So all I have to do is just go there and open the chat I started in my computer, and now I can ask for another image and the plugin will work as intended. This is basically it. But why do I have to do it in such a crooked way? Well, I suppose OpenAI either just copied the code to the app but forgot to delete parts of it, or the mobile app is just a shell and uses some sort of an internal browser to fetch the data to and from ChatGPT. Anyway, it works, and that's all that we care about, I also suggest you start separate chats for each extension that you often use. Now let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Pop AI. Pop AI is the best thing I've found in a while. It takes all the best from ChatGPT and other platforms and unites it into one platform. For example, usually when you need something from AI, you need to come up with some sort of a prompt here. All you have to do is choose a template and the list of templates is really huge. It covers basically everything there is from generating creative and professional SEO optimized articles and blog posts to working with code and generating prompts for mid journey. But let's take a look at it step by step. The interface is an enhanced version of ChatGPT featuring two key buttons, AI creation workshop and chat with document. In chat with document, you can upload a PDF. Pop AI can also generate speaker notes for a presentation based on the PDF. The AI doesn't just skim it, it provides a detailed summary that captures the essence without giving everything away. It also suggests questions you might be interested in asking about the document. When you click on a suggested uh, question, you get a detailed, coherent answer. If you want to dive deeper, there is an enrich button that adds more context, keywords, and even images to the answer. And what truly separates Pop AI from competitors is real-time web search. So its knowledge isn't limited by September 2021. Need the whole PDF summarized in 15 sentences? it can do that too. And you can easily copy any part of your chat. Pop AI excels at creating long articles with keywords and proper structure. It can also generate mind maps.
maps from text input, write code for JavaScript and Python and potentially replace senior and full stack programmers as well as React specialists. Another huge advantage of Pop AI is its perfect fit for copywriters and SEO professionals. If you click on AI Creation Workshop, you will see a variety of menus to choose from, such as picks and charts, SEO, summarization, copywriting, coding, and more. Each section offers three ready-made prompts that are easy to use. Let's pick uh, all-in-one workflow SEO blog. The blog topic will be artificial intelligence and YouTube. The AI then guides us step-by-step, -step, requiring manual clicks on next to proceed. At each step, you can make changes if needed. Keep clicking next until you have a perfect article. This segmentation is what allows more precise and user-driven results, unlike ChatGPT, where you need to manually make changes iteration after iteration. But Pop AI isn't just about text, it's proficient in code as well. You can ask it to write Python code that simulates AI thinking. The code is not only functional, but also well commented, making it easy to understand. If there are issues, the AI can debug or make changes to the code. So click the link in the description and see for yourself. It's not just more convenient than ChatGPT, it's also more affordable, costing only half as much as ChatGPT Premium while offering a better tool set. Anyway, check it out. Another thing that needs improvements is the visual aspect of ChatGPT. Does it look boring to you? I've stared at it for so long that the default color scheme feels baked into my brain. I need something new. That's why I installed Buttrush. This Chrome extension allows me to revamp the theme of ChatGPT and make it more fresh, less boring. Check out how it works. Once the extension is installed, the menu pops up on the right. To change the theme, I click on the settings and in appearance, click color scheme. Look at all these options. I can make it green or blue or red or purple. On top of all these color options, I can change font to any of these 20 or so fonts and each theme has a light and dark version. Let's do some math now. Two modes, 15 themes, 26 fonts, that's 780 combinations if my math is correct. If you are persistent enough, you can change the theme every day for two years without a single repetition. That deserves a like if you ask me. On top of themes, this extension also brings the word counter, a copy button, and the continue button for each ChatGPT's response. This is a really cool app that you should definitely try. Prompts are everything when it comes to ChatGPT, but let's say you want to get some quick access prompts to up your ChatGPT game. Where to look? In this case, I'd advise you to check out the next Chrome extension, Prompt Box. This extension is basically a library of prompts everyone can use, all in one convenient pop-up menu. To access the prompts, I click on the extension icon. This opens a small menu with three sub-menus and prompts where I can save my own favorite prompts shared with me, pretty self-explanatory and trending. The last option is what I need. If I open that sub-menu, the list of categories opens. As of right now, there is a limited number of categories such as podcasts, uh, video script writing, mid-journey prompts and more. Let's check out GPT characters. Here I have a few options to choose from. When I choose one, the prompt instantly gets copied to the clipboard, so all I have to do is paste and hit enter. Super easy. Or here are the video scripts. When I choose one of three options, the extension asks for details that will later be used in the prompt. After I fill them in, I just copy, paste, and submit. Podcast episode ideas, same algorithm. The more people start using the extension, the more prompts will be there. So be sure to try it out. It's a really good way to store your prompts and find new ones. And since I'm already talking about new stuff, how about a one more plugin to seal the deal? Diagrams and charts have always been my weakness. Creating them in Excel is like a torture for me, even today, but with diagram, 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 all right, all the hassle goes away. Because to create a custom diagram, all I have to do is type in the prompt. For example, the diagram that shows the population of California from 1645 with different colors for different ethnicities, and boom, it's done, just like that. No manual data gathering, organizing the numbers, making Excel formulas and so on. 30 seconds and the graph is ready. Okay, how about something fun? A pie chart for five most popular pies. I'm sure no one has ever made this joke on YouTube. Apple pie is the most popular one? Didn't expect that. What do you mean the carrot pie isn't in the top five? What's wrong with you people? Anyway, <laughs> you see how it works. Super fast, super easy, hassle-free graph making. There still are many more ways ChatGPT could be improved and many more plugins for you to check out. We recently made a video about plugins, so be sure to watch it. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one real soon. Peace.